So we have the Nucleon XX 20 meter versus the Hadron XX. So straight away I'm trying to take off on the Nucleon XX. We got about six or seven miles an hour of wind, but it has a tendency to hang back. Um, and I don't know if this is because of my current settings with the brakes and tip steering. Um, they're quite tight, um, so that's definitely a possibility, but I've always had an issue with it hanging back, especially when they're the, you know, it's a no wind launch day, and gotta do forward, but uh, at any rate, launch is just fine usually um, with a decent amount of wind. Pretty short takeoff, uh, not too fast. Pretty nice. So now we're up at altitude and going to do some wing overs and asymmetric spirals. Takes a little bit to get it going, a couple of oscillations, but then it is pretty darn nice to fly. Um, it does like to dive quite nicely, pretty darn easy to get right above the wing. Um, and the modulation on the brakes is fantastic. You can feel exactly where you're at and what the wing's doing, the loading. Um, it's really a pleasure to throw around. So back at it again, gain some more altitude. I think this thing gains altitude a little bit quicker than the uh, Hadron XX. Uh, though I'm not really sure, um, but as you can see, sure does like reversals and asymmetric spirals. Um, I am 110 kilograms all up, and uh, that is right on the top of the weight range for this wing. Um, but yeah, it really likes to throw down quite nicely. Nothing, uh, nothing bad there at all. Really good modulation, requires more brakes than the... Um, than the XX, uh, the Hadron XX, of course, but um, not an excessive amount uh, and really quite nice to throw around. Uh, doesn't like to porpoise too much when you come out of uh, a maneuver uh, just because it doesn't carry as much energy as the Hadron XX. So that is something that I'm getting used to with the Hadron. Um, trying to exit with a little less energy. So as you can see as I turn upwind here, um, in comparison to the Hadron XX, it is uh, a good bit slower. Um, this wing flies, it's like 25 to 31 miles an hour depending on what trim setting you're at. Okay, coming in for a little touch and go. Yeah, really nice on landings and flare. Um, nice for foot drags. Uh, it doesn't carry as much energy as the Hadron XX, of course, so the foot drags aren't quite as nice. Um, you don't have quite as much energy to work with, um, but touch and goes are, are very nice. So as you can see, I am pulling a good bit of brake here. Um, but the brake pressure is quite nice. You can feel right where you're at with the wing. Um, it just sort of steadily gets firmer and firmer. So coming in for a landing now, no swoop or anything, but it has plenty of energy to land quite nicely. Um, and setting it down. All right, so now we're gonna fly the Hadron XX and see how it compares. Now, the previous seven, six or seven flights before that last flight um, were on the Nucleon XX. I mean, we're on the Hadron, so. Um, and pulling it up here, and <laughs> straight away you can see a huge difference between the Hadron and the uh, Nucleon XX. I really wasn't expecting it to pop up that quickly, and um, I've got more slack in the brakes before they engage, so didn't quite catch the surge. Um, but it really pops up so much easier on launch, as you can see here. Just get it, 
get the right shape and then boom pops right up waits for you and it's worth noting that it takes about twice the length to take off so there is quite a lot more running involved uh, but it um, really pays off with how quickly it, it, it launches. And as you can see here, it is very tossable as well. Um, what I found with this wing is that the weight shift controls your turn um, every bit as much as the brake input. You can, you know, if you get a little bit of oscillation going, you can just weight shift. You don't even need to touch the brakes and um, throw it into wingovers like that. So it's quite nice. Um, there is a good bit of slop in these brakes so uh, before they engage. But um, really here, I don't think I'm ever pulling more than maybe an inch and a half of brake, probably not even that. So as you can see here, I exit with a good bit of energy and it does porpoise. So that's just something I've got to get down as far as timing goes. I've gained some more altitude here, so, um, you know, why not throw down some more wing overs? So, it is a beautiful place, Manhattan, but I prefer staring straight at the ground. <laughs> And just a little bit to get it going. Doesn't take nearly as much as the uh, Nucleon XX. Again, very nice with reversals. Uh, all about the timing, all about the weight shift. So, quite nice. Doesn't take nearly as much brake input as the Nucleon XX. Roll rate's nice. Um, it dives quite a lot more in wingovers and in asymmetric spirals. You do lose quite a lot of altitude very quickly. The trim speed is a good bit faster on this wing, so it's about 31 uh, trims in and 39 trims out. Um, so that's a that's about eight miles an hour faster than the uh, Nucleon XX in the 20 meter. So for the years that these wings were manufactured, I am um, on the smallest size for both of them. And like I said, 110 kilograms all up. So on the Nucleon XX, I'm actually in the middle of the weight range. I mean, on the uh, Hadron XX, I'm in the middle of the weight range for the 18 meter. And on the uh, Nucleon XX 20 meter, I am right on the top of the weight range at 110 kilos. All right, coming in for a landing here. Nothing special, just coming in straight. And you get to ski in the landing. Um, there is the flap system on the Hadron XX. You can engage um, and just kind of come in and don't have to ski in your landings or whatever, but um, I like skiing my landings. A lot of fun, so. The winds have died down quite a lot by now. Um, while I could probably pull it up in a reverse, I'd like to just show you guys how easy it is to do a forward on this. So, I hate forwards. Not a big fan of them at all. Um, with the setup I have, um, with, with straps uh, on uh, swing arms, it, it's quite difficult to feel the wing at all. Um, but the Hadron likes to pop right up uh, and sit there and wait for you, as you will see here. So, you know, the Nucleon XX, I really hated and uh, hated the anticipation even of launching it. But this is not so bad at all. Getting on the power a little bit here, get some airflow over the wing, and let it settle down. Ready to go here. And bam. Okay, so I'm not feeling any brake pressure, so right now I am 
just running so that I could turn around. But, you know, it did such a nice job of staying overhead. I just hit the power and went right back at it. So it is quite a lot longer of a launch. Um, and it really takes you running pretty quick to, to get any feel in the brakes. But it pops up much, much nicer. So as you can see, it dives quite a lot in the turns. You got so much energy to work with, you can make nice tight turns. Really quite a joy to fly. I found that trims all the way in, um, you still have very high brake pressure, but if you trim it out even just a little bit, um, you gain a lot of brake pressure. So right now, um, trimmed out full and just using the tip steer, which is more responsive than any other wing that I've ever flown. Um, this tip steering on this is really, really quite responsive. So fully trimmed out here, maybe have a three mile an hour wind um, at my tail. Um, but it is quite a fast wing. The GoPro does not do it justice for the speed, um, but uh, it's really flying. <laughs> uh, okay, so watching the sunset here once the sun goes under the clouds. I'm thinking it's time to do some throwdown. Really beginning the turns with weight shift is, is quite key on here. Um, as you can see, that weight shift right there, I weight shifted before I pulled any brake and it threw it right back into an asymmetric spiral. So quite impressive that weight shift alone uh, can make such a difference in um, where the wing's pointed. So a couple more wing overs, we don't have much altitude, so just gonna spiral out of it. It's a really efficient wing. It has a 6.15 aspect ratio. Um, so it is super efficient, uh, but if you get it pointed at the ground, it will fall right out of the sky. <laughs> loses quite a lot of altitude, um, but in the process, you're gaining quite a lot of energy. Very good at turning potential energy into kinetic energy. Ready to set up for a landing here. Gonna try a swoop landing this time. I haven't tried a swoop landing on this yet, so try to get the timing right. Not really ideal timing, but um, I'm still in the turn and ooh, carrying some nice energy. So as you can see, you know, you really carry quite a lot of energy on landing, and it's just a joy to fly. So, overall impressions of Hadron XX versus Nucleon XX. Um, the Nucleon XX is really a great wing. Um, the cross-country ability, it has, uh, you know, a very long trim range. It's got... Um, nice brake feel, uh, very linear feel on the brakes, and it's very easy to control exactly where it is in the sky. Um, that's something that I would actually say the Nucleon XX does better than the Hadron XX, is the brake modulation. Um, the Hadron XX's brakes are, are too hard, if you ask me. Um, they have too much pressure for the pole, uh, which is great because it means that you can have a really stable wing, but then you can also have a wing that's very agile. Um, but at the same time, with the Nucleon XX, being able to pull a little bit of brake, you know, um, in in a wing over an asymmetric spiral or even in a sat, and modulate exactly the angle of the wing. Um, is quite nice. And I'm sure you can do that with the Hadron XX, just something I will need to get used to. 
Um, so yeah, biggest differences between the two, really flying it, the first thing you're going to feel is the brake pressure. Um, obviously the takeoff's much easier on the Hadron XX to get it up, but you have to run a lot farther and a lot faster. Landings, really, uh, I can't knock either of them. The Hadron XX lands faster, um, and you come in with a lot more energy, but at the same time, um, the Nucleon XX certainly doesn't have any issues with uh, the amount of energy you come in landing with. You can swoop it in if you want to get some more energy and ski in your landing, but you can also just come in straight, and even if there's no wind, um, you know, you really don't have to run that fast. No wind with the Hadron XX, again, you really don't have to run that fast because you can just ski in your landing without even having to swoop in and uh, bleed all of that energy as you stay foot dragging. Um, so which wing do I prefer? Obviously the Hadron XX. It is um, a little bit more agile than the Nucleon XX. It is far faster than the Nucleon XX. Um, both trim in and trim out. If you add the flaps, you can bring it pretty close to uh, trim in speed with the Nucleon XX, and it gains quite a lot of efficiency. 